I get your full name and spell it out? I'm Mark Hill, M-A-R-K, Hill, H-I-L-L. -L. I'm convener of Green Leaves, which is campaigning amongst Green and Left voters for a victory for the Leave side at the coming referendum. Uh, we are ruled by a committee of Green Party members, but we encompass Green Party supporters and people of the left generally. We've been campaigning across the UK to uh, try and see our voice, Green voice, heard in a referendum debate which is dominated by figures on the right. We haven't even seen that many uh, uh, spokespeople in the broadcast media from the official Green Party Remain campaign. Green and left voices have been very quiet in this referendum, but nevertheless there's been long a campaign among the left amongst Greens for this referendum. It was Green Party policy until very recently to be calling for a referendum and now that we've got the referendum those voices are out there. Some 40% it would appear from opinion polls of Labour supporters will be voting to leave on Thursday and essentially there are going to be many Greens, many Liberals, many Scottish National supporters uh, who are alongside them going to be voting for the leave because they're Democrats, not because they obey their political party leaders at every turn. And could you tell me what, what from the left, what kind of reasons you could give for leaving the EU? And what are the specifically the most important reasons for uh, that the left and Labour and supporters would want to leave the EU? The one that underpins, the argument that underpins all of the others from the left is democracy. The European Union is not a democratic project. It's an authoritarian project with a superficial veneer of some democracy around it. But it is basically about treaties, it is about directives, it is about regulations which have not had proper democratic oversight and it does not have accountability. So the people who make mistakes in the European Union are never accountable for their errors. They're not accountable for the failure of their policies. There are specific issues as well. The European Union is increasingly engaged on its core project, which is the preservation and extension of the single currency, which has had devastating consequences for the communities of the Mediterranean, has created 50% unemployment amongst youth in many Mediterranean and Eastern European countries, and as a result has provoked a migration of those people that seek to just to work, to get an acceptable standard of living to the metropolitan countries of the European Union, principally France, Italy, Germany and the UK. And this is just not the way you build sustainability. If power is going to be taken out of Westminster, if it is to go anywhere, it should be going down to regional authorities such as London, Northern Ireland, Scotland, Wales and now Manchester. It should be going down to local authorities and some of the rights should be just simply exercised individually. We should not be begging the European Union commissioners for change. It should not be like this. It should be about democracy and accountability. That underpins the left claim for a, a, a leave vote on Thursday. And so what about environmental issues? How do you, how do you feel it would be affected if you leave the EU versus staying? Well, on many, on many issues, the European Union has actually performed very badly on environmental issues. And I would point to CO2 reduction, I would point to the common fisheries policy, and I would point to the common agricultural policy. At its core, the European Union is about the European Union. It is about centralisation, it is about the creation of a country. And the European Union already has most of the bits of apparatus, most of the features that you would expect in a country. Indeed, it's got many features of a country that are not shared by other countries which have been admitted to the United Nations. It's a country which is about its own preservation. It is not at its core environmental. And uh, what about labour rights? How do you feel like leaving the EU would help uh, the workers of, of Britain, of UK, uh, versus remaining? I think what's again easily forgotten by those on the left who rail against the Conservative administration that called this referendum is that actually worker rights are better preserved in Britain than they are in the European Union. And the reason is very simple. The European Union is a, uh, a, a, a federation of 
countries of widely differing circumstances and therefore the rights, the minimums that get given to people across the European Union have to neither be too hard for the weakest economic countries to be able to meet and neither are they strong enough to properly su support democratically uh, uh, the more metropolitan countries, more economically advanced countries, where people just expect more. And you can see that on, say, maternity benefit, which is substantially more generous in Britain than EU minimums. And it, you can also see it in the minimum wage, which is more generous in the UK and has been made more generous by this latest Conservative administration. This is not, though, about policies. It's not about specific policies. The European Union is a constitutional problem. It's a question about where power lies. Does it lie in the hands of those who are uh, electorally accountable, our politicians, our local politicians, and those who would seek to replace them, or is it instead delegated to an elite, all of whom are paid substantially more than the British Prime Minister, to exercise that power at the European Commission? The European Commission itself thrives on high wages, large amounts of, uh, of tax-free expenses, things like private schooling, private health care, relocation allowances, housing allowances, golden pensions, all of these sorts of things are part of the European Union psyche and its way of operating. It is just not disciplined and democratic enough. Okay, great. And one last question that I've been asking everybody. So, uh, are you familiar with our current presidential candidate, Donald Trump? Yes. Uh, what do you think about him and his kind of rhetoric, and do you think it matches at all the Leave campaign's rhetoric as far as when it comes to immigration, when it comes to nationalism, etc.? That's a very good question. Donald Trump is a complete maverick, it seems to me. Some of the things he has said have been quite appalling. Uh, he, on the issue of the European Union, a maverick, even a maverick, gets the chance to get it right once in a while and he has called for Britain to leave. Britain should leave. But I don't think that that is counts as an instruction. Whereas Barack Obama's intervention in our referendum was an instruction. He told us that if we decided to vote for leave, we'd be put to the back of the queue with any trade negotiations that take place between us and America. And I just don't think that that is a reasonable way to intervene in another country's affairs. Okay.